All right, so how can you practice trading and Coinbase Pro without having to lose your money or while you hone in your skills? This is there something that's called a Coinbase Pro Sandbox, which is basically the exact same thing as Coinbase and they give you a hundred thousand dollars of course it's fake money <laughs> for you to be able to practice and get familiar with the platform we'll put the link below this video so that you can go ahead and go straight to where you can set that up and then once you've set up your account really simple to do then you will see an account something like this now there are pros and cons of each uh, obviously because this is for practice so there's not a lot of markets that you'll see uh, there's only a few of them that are in there but you can trade any of those and then what I'm going to do through this video is I'm going to walk you through very quickly on how to basically set up some of the basic trades so that you know how to operate and how to function through this. As you can tell, I've already done some here to play around and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. OK, so as you can see in here, I'm just going to do BTC USD. They're basically buying and selling. This is let me back start from the top. You have a balance. You have a USD. Uh, that's uh, fake money, of course. <laughs> you have Bitcoin. We haven't bought any here. You can deposit. You can withdraw. If you click deposit, it'll give you the model of how you would normally do it. And you would have to go to and set up a bank and be able to transfer funds through there or directly if you bought from Coinbase and be able to put that in here. Plain and simple. Okay. One, if withdraw the same type of process and you do the same thing and you go through the same process. For the ordering, you can either buy or sell. This right here is the order book, people that are selling, uh, the buy, that's people who are buying, and this is the spread, the difference between those two. Obviously the chart, there's a chart here, and as you can tell, this particular chart is very spiky. So one thing to keep in mind when you are doing the trading on a sandbox is that people are willing to take chances that they normally would not take on the regular market. Therefore, they'll say, I'll buy everything, I'll sell everything, and they end up having these big old spikes on these. So you will, you will get some trades that you normally would have gotten, but in this particular case, it would have uh, probably not worked out or worked out even better than you thought because people took chances they normally wouldn't. So this is not really to be able to help you uh, to get exact trades, but it will help you to really get familiar with the system. So as we go through here, when you got to buy, pretty simple. If you're going to buy, if I want to buy $500 worth of USD at market price, that means it'll buy anything up to until it finishes filling in my order. I place the buy order. And as you can tell, it goes on here, buy, and it's been filled. And now I have that. Same thing happens with sell. If I want to sell at market, I can sell how much I want. I can click on that or I can click max or the amount that I want to sell and I can place a sell order and automatically it gets filled out. So that's the example for that part of it. If you want to do limit, limit is pretty cool because what you can do is you can tell it how much you want to buy. Let's say I want to buy 0.1 BTC and I want to put a limit price of 39. Uh, well, you can do, you know, type it in or you can click on the price and it'll fill it in for you at that price and I want to buy not sell. So we're going to buy it that much BTC at that price. And these features that are advanced, you don't really have to mess with them. But if, you, if you're starting out, but this is basically it's an order that's good until you cancel it. Uh, and this part of it won't even get to until you get to more advanced sections. But there, place the buy order there. It'll be there. The order is open until it gets filled. And now it's filled and we bought at that specific price. It didn't have to go and jump until it uh, can find enough to be able to buy it. So there we go. Selling, selling the same thing. If I wanna sell, if I wanna sell at that price and I wanna sell the maximum amount, then I can place sell order. It'll be on there, it'll be open until it gets filled. And once it gets filled, then we are done. All right, the most complex of them all, and I'm just gonna give you the basic idea. As you can see, orders went in automatically when I did these first two. Well, when you go to stop, there's this particular one, which is stop price, amount and limit price. Amount and limit price are just like the limit. You know how much are you gonna buy at what price you wanna buy it. But here's where this one could get a little confusing and I'm gonna clarify it so it's no, no longer confusing for you. This means that until this price gets hit, it gets touched by the moving markets. And at that point, then, put in the order into the order books. Until then, do not put the order in. 
whether it's for buying or for selling the same thing this becomes valuable when you start doing stop losses and things of that nature but that's a little more complex and beyond this video so i wanted to keep this video short i hope that you found this useful if you do give it a like you know subscribe to the channel so you can get more like this and share it with a friend so that's it if you want to cancel an order let's put it on there and i look forward to sharing more of these with you as we continue have an awesome day